Talks. All right, guys, welcome back. So, I got a good one for you. Here's a question that I was never asked, but I'm going to answer anyway. How do you replace a crankcase ventilator, crankcase breather, thingamajigger, that big old thing on the side of the block? I'm going to show you. Let's go. So, looking at the passenger side of the truck here, here is your crankcase ventilator. So what we're going to want to do first is just pop this little clip, push these little tabs in. Boom. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to reseal this fitting. So that part's off. I'm going to pop that little clip off the sensor forward, push down. All right. That's not moving, so I'm going to get a little screwdriver in here, pop that up. Slide it forward. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that back clip right there. Get that wiring wrapped over here and out of the way. And then I can go ahead and unbolt four bolts that hold that sucker down there. Two on this side, and two on that side. All right, so now we're looking underneath the truck. Here we got some wiring in the way. What we're gonna wanna do is remove this bracket, which is just one bolt there. And the bracket also has another bolt over there. So we're gonna get this wiring pushed back. Well, that way, you know, we can go ahead and drop this down. And then we're gonna undo the four bolts. And we can go ahead and remove this crankcase ventilator. So you can tell this is bad when it's just pushing out oil. And it is, it's all against the oil pan here. Let's see if we get a better angle for you. When it's pushing oil right out of that guy. That or it'll throw a code for it being full or the RPMs are too low, something like that. So we're gonna get this sucker replaced. All right, so do not forget that you need a drain pan under this because you will make a mess. Sometimes it's a lot that comes out, sometimes it's a little.
See, we got a little bit of drippage. Nothing too crazy. Let me get this gasket out of the way. That's what that gasket looks like. So we can go ahead and just drop this stuff down. So you may find yourself fighting this. If you can't get it out from this side, you may want to get it out from this side. You just got to work with it, really. It's kind of big and bulky and kind of a pain. I think this case, we're going to go ahead and stretch out these cables and get it out from underneath. And that's that. So looking at it, that is the old one. Nothing fancy. All right, guys, Christmas came early. We got a little unboxing video for you. There's the part number for the crankcase ventilator. Here's the RPM sensor up top and the gasket. Of course, they all come separate. All right, let's do a little unboxing video for you. I hope it's not snakes. Nobody wants snakes to pop out of the box. Oh, looking good, brand new. So that's where the sensor is going to go. Nice and empty little port there. We're going to reuse the screw on the old one. Of course, I grabbed a 30 and this is 25. A little bit of lube on the o ring. So it goes in without a problem. So, gas is not going to stay on there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put it into place and then we're going to put the gasket on and then bolt it up. And the reason we're going to do that is the bolts are going to stick out too far and we're not going to be able to get past the wiring and they're just going to fall out. Not a big deal. Alright, so here we are. We're going to clean up the port. Of course, we're going to stick our finger inside, make sure there's nothing blocking the hole. Looking good. Two fingers in that hole. I want to mention that with this hose, I do lube up this O-ring as well. So we're going that fitting so it gets in there nice and easy. All right, so you're going to stick on everything. That's just the way this is. As you can see, it's kind of a fight. Okay. Top hose is stuck on something. Probably that RPM sensor wiring. All right. We're in place. I think you guys can see that okay. We're going to grab our gasket. That's going to go in like this. So once we're up here, now we put on our gas feed and we can bolt it up. to do when I'm under here is you got to keep your mouth open so that way when the engine drips on you whatever oil it has it drills ahead and gets in your mouth
multiple times. Alright, last one. There. Meter 16 millimeter, 5 eighths. Barely get on that one. We'll come back. extension with this torch so I like to go back over it with my hand ratchet whatever that sucker may be Make sure we're all tight. Yep, we are good. So that's what we look like from underneath. Bolted up, nice and good. Now we can go ahead and get these uh, brackets back on. Get these wiring secured. All right, so we're gonna bolt this back up, we're gonna get that side back up, and then we're gonna get the top in. All right, so we'll go ahead and connect the wiring. Pop that clip back. We're gonna go ahead and change this. For that, we got most up 15, 16. Got a fancy socket, I mean a uh, fancy bolt. So the seal is stuck to the block, so we're gonna go ahead and pop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. It's been free by now, but not this one. Must be cross threaded in the block. It's a good thing it's cheap plastic. I don't really care about this. There it is. Cheap old thing. Go ahead and clean it up. So it's got some buildup on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a razor blade to it. 
get it nice and clean. Usually you wouldn't need to do this. Why don't we go ahead and do this now? All right, so we got the new one here. Let's go ahead and screw it in. that all the way down the same way. Then we'll loop up the over. We'll go ahead and pop it on. Again, a bit of lube for that O-ring. Make sure it's flush all the way around. There goes my light. I didn't really need that anyway. There's my backup. All right, we're looking good. All right, so that's it. We're done. That's how you replace the crankcase ventilator. If there's any questions, let me know.